here we have the new HUD system. And notice how the text is actually rendering over our icons now, which means we've successfully fixed the bug. And it's also infinitely cleaner. We went from these two classes, HUD Icon Manager and HUD Text Manager, to all of these different like component classes. Let's add a few more. So we got to add the hotbar ones for build and inventory hotbars. And then we can move on to the minimap. So let's do that. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, first of all, we have five slots. It should be six. And second of all, it's inverted. So we got to do this. Boom. HUD Icon dot get. One, two, three. Four, five. Why is there five slots? You go zero. Oh, it's equal to. There we go. So now the slots are being selected correctly. So now let's add the build ones. So let's add a HUD handler. Let's copy paste this. We'll do max build hotbar size in slot. All right, let's take a look at this. There it is. Look at that. We can switch. That looks about right. Okay, so as you guys can see, there's an offset issue. One little spacing issue is going to ruin the entire HUD. Notice how the text is a little bit like offset now to the left. That's because we added these new icons. We got to figure out a way to fix it. Bro, one of my viewers spotted one of his classmates watching my shorts. That's awesome, bro. There's something cooked going on. What the? I accidentally animated it, bro. We have animations. There we go. Oh, what the? Look at the keybinds. We'll have to fix the offset by a shader. I might have an idea, actually, on how to do that. These text, space, one, two, three, four, five. These are all client-sided. Meaning, the server doesn't know what this text is. Meaning, we don't know what the length of the text is. Meaning, we can't add negative offsets or negative spacing. This is what Minecraft is. We will run into limitations, but we will always find a workaround. Anything is possible, bro.